Cache Valley Chevy Dealers Sports Desk. Here's Jack Bernie. Welcome back to Indiana State Sycamores back at Holman Center tonight looking for their fifth straight win and more importantly stay in sole possession of first place in the Valley as they welcome the Bradley Braves to town. A sold out Holman Center crowd witnessed an amazing game between these two teams. We're going to start the highlight off with a bang. Second half Isaiah Swope with the bounce pass. Jason Kent with the poster to extend ISU's slim lead. A few minutes later Bradley up five. ISU needs a bucket. They get it from Ryan Conwell who knocks down the corner three. Conwell led the Sycamores with 22 in the game. Game. Next time down the floor, Julian Larry knifes inside, gets the layup plus the foul for an old-fashioned three to give ISU a one-point lead. Later in the fourth, Larry gets it to Swope in the corner, and he's going to drain the triple to give Indiana State a 74-67 lead with five and a half to go. But here comes Bradley. First, Connor Hickman is going to knock down the three to get the Braves within two points. Fast forward one minute and change left in the ball game. Hickman's going to find Malavi Leons, who gets inside for two to tie things up at 76 apiece. Bradley would get a stop and cash in immediately on the other end. Duke Deans finds Darius Hanna, who throws down a dunk to give the Braves a 78-76 lead with less than a minute to go. Next ISU possession, Jason Kent's shot is no good, but he's fouled. He'd make both free throws. We would go to overtime. In overtime, Sycamore's up to Isaiah Swope. Step back, money. Swope had 19. ISU goes up five in overtime, but the Braves wouldn't go away. Duke Dean steps up, drills a clutch three a few minutes later to tie the score at 83. He led all scores with 31. But the Sycamores were not going to let this one slip away. First, Robbie Avila for three for the lead. It's good. Robbie had 18 points. ISU goes up three. Then how about Xavier Bledson? Just his second shot attempt of the night. Maybe the biggest shot of his career. He drains the three to put ISU up six in the extra frame. He's pumped up. So is the sold-out Holman Center crowd. Indiana State outscores Bradley 17-8 to in overtime to win 95-86. to The Sycamores stay perfect at the Holman Center this season. Stay alone in first place in the Valley. Here's coach shirts and crew after the win. The atmosphere was amazing, you know, shout out to the fans, you know, they they helped us through the win, you know, without them, you know, it'd be a different game, but the fans are credited to this win, you know, with their energy and their their vibe of the whole game was just amazing, you know, I, I appreciate them doing for what they did for us today. I mean, this is, is what you dream of, like big games, big atmosphere games, um, you know, and, and you go in the world with your brothers out there. We play for one another, like we actually love one another. So, you know, when things like that happen in the game, I feel like we're able to just, you know, hold, keep one another accountable and, you know, not allow that to waver, you know, how we're going to play. So, you know, going into that overtime, we, we knew, you know, we were still in the game and we were good. So, you know, we were just encouraging one another. You know, Drew, Drew was over there encouraging us, even though, you know, he got that last foul. So I feel, I feel like it just speaks on, you know, how tight we are as a team. We don't, I said it afterwards, we don't win without the fans. I mean, our, our that atmosphere, that environment, how loud they were. I mean, we're gassed. Our guys are just, I mean, they're spent. And the crowd and that energy and and the environment they created, I mean, they, they when we looked like we were about to get knocked out, they kept willing us back in and bringing us back in. And so thank you, Terre Haute, Forrest, uh, all, all Sycamore fans that were here today and made this, <clears throat> you know, an, an incredibly uh, special moment for uh, for our players, staff, and, and, and they were a huge part of why we were able to get to, to win the game.